Welcome to UAB student athletes and Coach Kennedy. We have uh, Yaxel Lindeborg, Ephraim Buddha Johnson, and Coach Andy Kennedy with us. The standard reminders: please silence your cell phones. Uh, as you ask a question, please raise your hand, and we'll get a microphone to you. Um, provide your name and media affiliation each time you ask. That's helpful. And um, if you're joining on Zoom, please use the raise hand function, and we'll get questions to you as time allows. And uh, we'll open with a quick statement from Coach Kennedy and then go to questions for student athletes. Coach? Uh, first off, congratulations to San Diego State. You know, uh, when you when you see your name pop up on that on that line, and we had to, we knew that our only opportunity to participate in this tournament was to get the automatic bid. We get that automatic bid um, on Sunday through great play from my guys, earned the right to be here. And then you see San Diego State pop up. Great respect for the job that started with Steve Fisher and now continues to Brian Dutcher. Um, and you know, as you start preparing for an uncommon opponent. The thing that just pops out at you is their physicality, their toughness, how uh, they literally give you zero free. And uh, I think, honestly, that has allowed them to continue to play on in this tournament. Really, really tough. We had no answer for Ladee. Congratulations to them. Questions for student athletes? Tim Booth from the AP. Uh, Yaxel, how difficult was dealing with the, the foul trouble in the first half, and how frustrating was it when you had to sit over there for a while? It was, uh, it was terrible, you know. Um, it's great to be such a physical game. I feel like if I was to touch anybody in any type of way, it would be a foul. But uh, that's maybe just me, you know, making excuses and uh, getting in my head. But uh, I tried to match the day's physicality. As soon as I did, food foul, and it messes with my head all game, you know. It took me a while to even try to start being aggressive again because I was scared of the charge call or anything or just messing up for my team any more than I already did. But, uh, you know, hopefully next year we'll be back in the same position and I can uh, avoid that foul trouble and we can get out the way. Uh, Mark Ziegler, San Diego Union Tribune for, for you, Yax, also. On that last sequence, um, you guys are in man um, and uh, you decide the front. Just take me through that. What was the decision there? Uh, and what what are your thoughts when you see the ball going over? Did you have no Yeah, um, well, what we were practicing pretty much is that I'll be fronting him, and then once the ball gets thrown over, I get around him and get behind him in defensive position. But um, it was kind of hard to do that when I get, you know, shoved a little bit, but you know, no complaints, you know. I tried to get over there, I jumped. Uh, I guess I fouled him, you know, so that was on my end for not getting there quick enough. I guess for, bo for both of you, you're down 12 early in the second half. What did you feel like you did really well during that stretch to get back in the game and take the lead? Yeah, so let's start with you. Well, uh, Butter, you know. Butter stepped up big time, you know. He uh, started making a lot of tough shots for the team, and uh, so were the other players. Uh, you know, at first the, the shots weren't falling. We were playing uh, aggressive with the ball, and uh, we started to pick it up a little bit more and started making the extra pass and just hitting those tough shots. That's, that's what gave us the, the energy to keep fighting. Ephraim? Uh, yeah, I think um, I was able to knock down a couple shots to bring the lead back down and um, bring energy to the team, to the people on the floor, guys on the floor, guys on the bench. And, um, you know, once we started to make a little run, we started to come together, play as one offensively and defensively. And uh, we felt like in, in that moment we had them. We had them rattle a little bit. We felt like um, they relaxed a little bit and they um, we started – you know, they started throwing punches, and we punched them back right then and there. And they, I felt like they really felt this at that moment and felt like, you know, UAB's, you know, not a team to sit in here and play around with. So, and, um, yeah. Uh, for Bada, um just takes through that last shot. What did you see, and, and, uh, and uh, what was, it? What was it, the idea there? Um, well, the coach called open, you know, just to – with air games with the ball in his hands and and uh, just to open the floor up for him, you know, let him make a play. And um, CC gave me a screen coming off to try to get a three off and caught there, couldn't catch a shoot immediately. And then um, pump fake tried to try to get him jump in the air, try to get the foul, but and um, I just couldn't get into him and, and I just missed it. We have time for one more for the student athletes. If there is one, we'll go right here. 
uh, Julian Mitchell, WVTM in Birmingham. Um, but you said it there that you all showed that UAB is going to punch back and fight back for both of you. Uh, what do you feel you all showed as a team tonight? And as Yax, you said, hoping to be back here next year, showed where UAB is going to continue to go as a program. Yaxel? Yeah, well, all year we've been playing with toughness. You know, we, we're pretty much a team that never likes to go away. You know, uh, we can struggle with a lot of aspects in our game, but we always have that fight in us to, to make sure that it's a close game where we end up out on top. Um, I feel like the the point that's going to get us back here is that same aggressive, you know, playing more as a family, trusting each other again, and then just giving it whatever we got. Sweda? Um, yeah, we, we fought hard. We fought all season hard. You know, we started off uh, with a rocky start. I think we were six, six and five. And, you know, people started to doubt us. People started get, uh, giving up on us. And, you know, we just stayed together as a team. Unity, you know, was in our um, players meetings and our team meetings. And, we, you know, we talked all year long that, you know, we basically, from that point on, we've we been through it all. We done got blown out. We done, you know, um, basically been down, came back, won game. So, we knew going to just to the stretch um, from the middle of the season, going in the conference to the end, like it wasn't a position that we haven't been in. And so we've been here before and um, we fought all season long. I'm just proud of my team, proud of the coaches, and proud of everybody, proud of the fans, proud of everybody that's um, representing UAB. And uh, I promise you we'll be back here next year. All right, thank you guys. We'll dismiss the student athletes and then direct questions to coach. All right, questions for Coach Kennedy. Andy, you obviously saw on, sorry, uh, you obviously saw on film how good Liddy is. Is there anything that when you saw him maybe in those first opening minutes of the, of the first half that seemed a little different seeing him play in person? Uh, no, they don't give out those all-American accolades just on a whim. I mean, you have to earn those. Tremendous player. I, as we were diving into San Diego State, I mean, this kid averaged eight points and five rebounds last year. Granted, on a really good team that played for a national championship, but I don't know the young man. Um, but man, he must be a worker. He must be a worker, and he and he really sees the opportunity that this team presented. And he is without question their anchor. Um, for those of you old enough in the room, he, he reminded me on tape of a of a Danny Fortson. Remember Danny Fortson? Cincinnati guy, I didn't coach Danny. I was there sort slightly thereafter and he ended up being a multi-time NBA player and played over a decade in the league. He reminds me of Danny Fortson where he's just so rugged. Every, every trip down, he's looking for contact. He's great with his motor, even that big body. He didn't get tired. We tried to wear him down a little bit and he just didn't get tired. Um, and they do a great job. Does, does a great job with their spacing and uh, He's going to touch that thing when, it, when it's tight. And we knew that. We knew that. We tried different things on him, uh, obviously, to no avail. Uh, Mark Zygmunt, San Diego Union Tribune. Uh, takes through that last uh, offensive possession for them. You've been playing zone. You've been playing pretty well zone. And you, and you switched to man. Yeah, you know, our 1-2-2 our, our two, two back to 2-3 was a little more effective than our 1-3-1. One, one. The reason that our 1-3-1 one, one wasn't effective was because of the day when he got out of the game, we would go back to it. But he was just he was just swallowing our back guy who's typically, you know, a 6-2 to 6-4 guard. And we just, and they were, they, he was getting swallowed and they were going right to him. So we were trying a little bit of 1-2-2 two, two back to a 2-3, reason being Lede would flash to the high post. Now he made some of those one crucial one end of clock where he hit a, a Christian Leitner like catch and shoot turnaround at about 16 feet right at the end of the clock when honestly we had all the momentum. But that's what good players do. That's what all Americans do. You know, Yax has been playing outstanding. He was the MVP of the American Athletic Conference Tournament. And, and this is the first time he's ever been in this stage, obviously, but also the foul trouble just, I, we couldn't really execute some of the things we wanted to do because of the matchups. We just had fouls across the board, uh, but we had no answer for him. I, now I know what it must feel like uh, to be a linebacker in the old AFC trying to tackle Earl Campbell. <laughs> and just to follow up, um, the decision to go to man on that last possession versus yeah, staying the well, zone? Well, it was, it was, you know, we were really small because Javion Davis had fouled out. So we're just trying to pick up and apply some pressure, switch on the perimeter. Yaks 
you know, uh, we didn't we didn't front Lede very much the whole game, but that was the the idea at the end because we were small and we knew they were going to go to him. So we were trying to be a deterrent. They made the play over the top. Obviously, I'll see the tape, but you know when that thing's over the top, it's usually kind of a 50-50 ball, and boy, he certainly won the majority of those. Uh, Coach Seth Carpenter out of Montgomery with WSFA. Um, Y'all were down 12 early. Y'all were able to come back and make it a very close game at the very end. Talk about how your team fought uh, throughout the entire game. Yeah, you know, I realize that we're new to the scene for most of you, um, and justifiably so. But our, our group has fought most of the year. You know, we're we're, we're kind of a scrappy group. I, uh, we're not as physically strong or as tough as San Diego State, but our mantra is somewhat similar in that we, we, we want to continue to, to be relentless in everything that we do. Uh, I thought we lost the physical battle today, you know, bodies on bodies. It seems like they were playing through us more than we were playing through them. And that's who we are. That's what we've done. That's how we've uh, earned the right to, to be on this stage. So uh, I had no doubt, no, no doubt that my guys would fight back. I thought the foul trouble, not only with Yaks, but with Chris Coleman and Javion Davis, it, it took away some of their assertiveness. I think Yaks alluded to that earlier. And then they do such a good job. I mean, Lamont Butler is, well, he's something, man, on that ball defensively. And a couple of times when they got Eric Gaines in, in a smaller space, they were able to turn us over and run through balls. We only had 20 turnovers in our three wins in Fort Worth to capture the tournament championship. I said that right. We had 20 turnovers in three games. And tonight, the physicality forced us into 14. We lose points in the paint. We lose points off turnovers. And we lose second chance points. We're sitting here now at 23 and 12, and I can promise you we haven't won one of those 23 when we were 0 for 3 in those categories. We have time for about two more questions for Coach, if there are any. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.